Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to overlay a video clip on a still image of a monitor using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I have one still image which I've downloaded from Unsplash and I've got two video clips which I downloaded from Pixabay. I'll put links to those in the YouTube description. So let's go ahead and open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro and the first thing I want to do is drag this still image onto the timeline. So we can see the still image here. If I hold down the control key and use my mouse wheel, we can see there's black bars there, right? So we hold down the control key to zoom in and out and zoom that at 85%. I'll see the black bar. So I want to fix that first. Let's click on the image and we'll go down to size and position and we use the zoom function just to zoom in and we just want to see a little bit the image just sitting on the outside there but i want to bring the image down a little bit so i'm going to use this tool here just to move the image down because i want to see the top of the monitor here and i want to move it to the left a little bit or to the right should i say just a small amount just so i can see the edge of the laptop and i want to overlay a video clip on top of this monitor so what i would do is go back to the folder and drag and drop any one of these video clips let's drag this one first and we drag and drop that onto the timeline okay let's left click on the video clip and then we'll go to the 3d distortion here so i'm going to click on that and we've got the x and y coordinates for the left top left top right bottom left and bottom right so you see the little dots here so we can just grab these handles and drag them to try and pin them to the edges of the monitor screen like this I'm just going to drag them here. We don't have to be super accurate because we're going to zoom in and tidy this up a little bit. So let's just say roughly these are, this is roughly where the positions need to be. And now we want to zoom in on this monitor screen, right? So hold down the control key and just use your mouse wheel to zoom in. And if we zoom into the bottom corner here, uh, we'll grab this pin and try and get it positioned more accurately on the screen. So we can see where the edge of the screen is, is right here then hold down the control key and use the left mouse button holding down the left mouse button to pan around the screen and we want to get to the top one here and just drag it to the edge here like this and then hold down the control key use the left mouse button to move to the other side this one looks pretty accurate but we'll just drag it across here and then hold down the control key and use the left mouse button again and we'll move towards the bottom and we'll pin it here like this so basically, if we hold down the control key now and use the mouse wheel to zoom back out, once you zoom out a fair amount, hold down the control key and then hold down the left mouse button to pan, right? So hold down the control key and use the mouse wheel to zoom, then hold down the control key and use the left mouse button to pan. So if we move back across our timeline and click play, we'll see the video overlaid on this monitor screen. Now what if we wanted to transition between two screens? What I would do, is uh, do a screen capture so there's various tools you can use to use screen capture I'm going to use a tool this one here the Windows snipping tool so I'm going to click on that this is like a free application that you get with Windows and we can use that to screen capture a piece of content so let's click new and you can use any screen capture software you want I just want to screen capture this piece of information so I've got the coordinates now for this current monitor screen so what I'll do is go along this timeline let's say around halfway ish something around here i'll click here and cut and i'm going to delete the end part then i'm going to go back to the folder and drag the second video clip here so let's click on that video clip and really we just want to copy these values these values into here so we get the exact same result so I'll, i need to take this off screen but the first value here is 907 the one below it is going to be 274 this one here uh, this value here is 1616 this one here is 98 this value here will be 6867 this is 667 this one is 1561 and the final value here will be 716 so all I've done is screen captured the coordinates from the first video clip and then I've just retyped them in here. So it just saved me having to reposition everything. Why would you do that manually when you already have the coordinates, right? So what we just do is click on the second clip, add these coordinates using the 3D distortion. Now we can just overlap them slightly. Let's say we overlap them by about this much. Uh, we'll go back and we'll click play. And now we've got a nice transition between them. Let's click here 
select this and cut it so we get rid of the end part of this video clip and we'll move to this point in the cursor uh, timeline cursor let's click play and now we can see that nice little transition and you can add as many video clips to this sequence as you like and you can export it you can add some music in the background this might be showcasing some work that you've done maybe you you do video editing maybe you build websites and you want to showcase the website imagine you could screen capture your an example of your website so you could screen record that using um, something like OBS studio for example that's what I'm using to do this video so I can make a website for one of my clients I could then screen capture maybe interacting with that website and then I could bring that into magic smooth edit pro take any image it doesn't have to be this particular image it can be any image the, the monitor could be facing front and flat or it can be at an angle and then you can just overlap your content if you're doing a business event or a business function maybe you're having a personal thing maybe it's a party or an event you can go and use uh, magic smooth edit pro cut up your video clips and then just apply the coordinates and then just put some nice transitions in between and you're good to go so let's save this work let's minimize this that's how i go about using magic smooth edit pro to overlay a video clip on a monitor okay so i hope you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial